Now, we're starting, and what we want you to do is to say who you are and what the date is today. My name is Jan Fenty, and today is November 15, 2016. Great. I'm Susie Self, and today is... <laughs> I forgot. It's November, November 15th, <laughs> 2016. <laughs> so cognizant. Wonderful. What we hope you'll do is reminisce, of course. Reminisce about the women's movement. Reminisce about experiences that you shared. And we're hoping that two people talking about it will have a wonderful kind of sparkle to it. Okay, well, I'll start, and then Susie can start, and then we can right, do our right. together one. Um, so the women's, uh, my, I, I began in the women's movement before uh, my children were born, so that was in the late 60s, and it just began, you know, we just kind of morphed into being a group and being organized, and first we would meet around each other's homes and just sit and talk and have consciousness raising. And, um, wow, and people would just talk about being married, the, having children, and, and all the woes that we thought we had back then, which we were, were legitimate, but it was just being together as women and talking about our lives, which was really quite astounding, and listening to other women and just sharing. And then we became quite political, and... Um, um, Can you put years on these things? So this was uh, 16, 69, 60, 68, 69, 70, and 71 was probably the active years. And um, I don't know, Susie, were you a witch no, also? I was a witch, but I wasn't part of I came to D.C. or I became involved in the women's movement once you were in the office. Okay. So I wasn't in people's uh, homes. Okay, yeah, we, then we got so organized, we got an office space in Adams Morgan on Biltmore Street. And uh, so we never had anyone in charge, but we just had um, meetings. And I often, re I recall moderating these meetings. Um, and it's just, I don't know what we talked about now. You know, like 40... <laughs> Six years ago, but um, we we were. Oh, did you have you heard about the witches? That we were witches, women international, international terrorist community well? something like that. And so we would dress up in witches costumes, and we would go and we would put hex on things. Committee from hell, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And so one I remember distinctly is a group of us witches went into the old Garfinkel's department store. Were you here then? And we went into the women's witch, into the first thing you enter is the cosmetic department. And we went in and we went, hex, hex on Garfinkel's because they were <laughs> destroying women's because of all these cosmetics and whatever. And after that, Garfinkel's went out of business. <laughs> So we were pretty effective, and we did we did spells, which is spells in front of the Capitol, and um, with our costume, our witches hats on, and hexing all the evils of women that were oppressive to women. Um, what do you I, well, I I remember going to the women's offices. I came from the civil rights movement, and so I. At first, I thought, mm, women's rights, maybe that's a little frivolous because I'd been in the South and working on these heavy duty things. And I called a woman that had been down South with me who was African American. And I said, Bobby, what do you think about the women's movement? She goes, Susie, it's really important. And I was like, okay. So I don't even know how I got to the first meeting except maybe through Charlotte because. I don't know how I got to the women's office, but for me, I really remember really feeling close to Jan because these meetings were pretty intellectual, actually. I mean, when That's I got true. there, That's when true. I got there, they it was we were becoming communists, kind of, <laughs> yeah. and we would sit around and we would read things and we would talk, and it was all very serious. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and it was getting so. 
And I always felt a real kindred with Jan because Jan and I weren't always going to ask the right question. You know, like sometimes we would ask something and people would sort of go, I'm not supposed to ask that. That's why I enjoyed being the moderator of the group. So I didn't have to <laughs> participate as much as just keep the group going and, no, maybe you shouldn't. And that's a good point, but let's go to that person. And maybe I forgot about that. Yeah. So it was, yeah, I came in for the more. And it's funny because when I was in the Civil Rights Movement, it was in the height of black power. Well, I was in the Civil Rights Movement before the height of black power. Mm -hmm. But I was still down south and still working when black power came in. And I was not really kicked out, basically, but the SNCC workers and the people that I was around, I was at Tuskegee Institute and then out in the fields, they would say, Susan, when you go back, you're supposed to work with the white left. And that's going to be very hard for you because they're very intellectual. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I really like being around. I, liked the, I loved the women's movement and it really affected me. I mean, I really, just like I entered the civil rights movement from the South with racist notions and went to a conference where I got totally, absolutely, you know, committed to giving my life for civil rights. So I was, that was passionate and total for me. So the same with the women's movement. I think when I got in there, I was like, yes. Mm -hmm, <laughs> and mm -hmm. it, tra it was transformative. Tell us who the women were. What was their place in life? What were their, mm -hmm. did they have jobs? Did they have families? No one had jobs, really, that I can recall. We were, that was our job, was to be full-time committed to the movement. And we, a lot of us had unemployment. Uh, we got unemployment insurance from jobs that we did have. Many of us had food stamps, and it was like no stigma, of course, to get food stamps because we were going against the government or, you know, so we would go and happily use our food stamps and giant and buy, you know, T-bone steaks and, you know, it was just young people, counter very counterculture, very and um, just every kind of movement that we could associate ourselves with, we did. We um, allied with the um, uh, women's, uh, national women's welfare rights in Washington. Mm -hmm. So we did a lot of work with women and welfare rights, and um, so that was Great. And we just delight ourselves with around uh, DC General, health care, um, uh, around abortion issues. Um, there was a Washington Free Clinic. So mm -hmm. every issue that was coming up, we were, I don't know what we did. We just, no one worked. <laughs> no, I did. I had worked. I had worked. We all had labor worked. Department. Right. Yeah, I had worked for the Labor Department. And I guess maybe it was maybe through Jerry Schwimmer that I found the meetings. I don't know how I found the meetings, but. Um, yeah, I quit the Labor Department when Nixon ruined my job. <laughs> so. Yeah, I used to be a teacher, and so we just were counterculture, mm -hmm. uh, anti, mm -hmm. you know, anti establishment. Right, and leftists, and a lot of intellectuals. That was really correct, Susie. There were so many. Well, all that intellectuals and writing, and. And I think all that communist study was coming in. The Marxist-Leninist study group was happening. It yeah. seems that that was coming in as I came in. Right. So that was kind of, because I remember people saying, oh, you sound revisionist. And I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> and I then, didn't even know what a revisionist was. So I'd be like, oh, my grandma was a Trotskyite, so maybe I am. <laughs> and then Susie and I got pregnant at the same time with our first children. And um, so we both remember very clearly, Susie had a girl, I had a boy, and they were born like two days apart. And then we both went to the women's movement office to our, to, and did we have the babies then? Or yeah, we, no, because we, it was for New Year's Eve. What happened is Jan, I had my baby on December 4th. Adrian was on December 6th. On December 6th. And then we heard that the women's, that the New Year's Eve party didn't let boy babies in. So another thing that we haven't been talking about is that women were 
becoming lesbian. Some women were lesbian, but a lot more were becoming lesbian kind of overnight. You know? well, the lesbian politics really took over our, our women's movement in Washington. And um, it was, they were thinking that male children were the enemy. So then, uh, I don't remember, I blocked out that the fact that they didn't want to invite. They, no, they sent, I, they sent people with boy babies away. They said boy babies couldn't come into the thing, to the party. Is that what we both cried about? Yes. <laughs> and so we decided to go to the meeting together, the next meeting, I guess. So it must have been a big meeting right. at the Women's Center right. with Rita Mae Brown speaking. Yeah. And Jan and I said we were going to go together and say that's not our women's movement. I mean, because, and I kept thinking, I mean, we had just had children. We had just given birth. I mean, we haven't even met our babies a month yet. Yeah. So we had just given birth. And I kept seeing women kind of deciding to leave their babies. and Women were asked to leave their male children. So Alice told me last night that she recalls specifically a woman leaving her husband with the baby. And, but, and then this was, I mean, marriages... Not just for the night. Yeah. <laughs> marriages were breaking up like crazy at this time and not just around children but just in crazy and and um uh, women were yeah were becoming lesbians leaving their husbands becoming lesbians and kind of taking over the women's movement which had right. been heterosexual not heterosexual but yeah well well the women had the women right. had been right and so not so then the lesbian politic just kind of took over. And like the whole time that I was pregnant, I mean, and I had my baby by myself. So I was like trying, thinking, so you got to know who you are and because you're about to give birth and you have to know who you are for this baby. You can't just be. And I knew that I didn't seem to be a lesbian, that that wasn't big, and that I sure didn't know what sex I was going to have. So, and I think that there was this, really deep thing of having been, I don't know why to say that I was really racist, 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 but I was a teenager in a racist society and I did have racist notions before I went to a civil rights conference. And I went to the civil rights conference because my college thought I was liberal. <laughs> and I came back radicalized, so it had an effect on me. But I kept thinking, that racism really destroyed my humanity. I mean, it really took a toll on my humanity. So I sure as hell am not going to count out half the population. I'm not going to wipe out men the way racism was. I wasn't going to be a part of that. So it was very deep, like I fought it through and it wasn't me. And then when this happened in the women's movement and it was bothering me, the women were leaving their children. So yeah. Jan and I said, we're going to go. And it kind of, after that, it just kind of dissipated. This very strong group of women just fighting all the causes in the city. And it just really kind of dissipated after that around us having the children and um, either giving up the children or, yeah. And if we didn't join the politics, yeah. and um, which uh, regrettably we didn't, and, the, you know, we didn't because we couldn't. And it just kind of dissipated, and it just kind of fizzled out. This, uh, yeah, and, and then we all it. went back and got jobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually had to work. Our money had run out. Maybe it was just. Well, I started every day. I mean, I started Earth oh, okay. Hour. So that, that's what so I did. Yeah. That's when, I, when Jan and I went to the meeting and we stood up. I don't know how if we stood up together. I but think we, we did. Crying. We stood up together crying and said, this is not our movement. And then I said, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to start a theater. And we did. I did start Earth And so I had a few more years than Jan. Jan went back to work and I... I think I had another baby. Oh, <laughs> I think so and that's what I did. I went had another baby, another boy. <laughs> so I so clearly was out. I had another baby too, and then I and I started a theater company, a women's theater company, but a women's theater company that wasn't going to have that conflict in it. That was yeah. So that's our story. <laughs>